I want to invite to the stage a very special guest that we have with us. His name is Casey Herring, and uh, Casey is the, uh, the, the founder and the director of a great ministry called Global Education Ministries. Uh, they are all over the world, Mexico, uh, Colombia, Uganda, which is in Africa, and, but their headquarters is right here on Market Street. I mean, it's right here, and we've, we've known uh, Casey through James and Dixie Smith for a while. Uh, Sarah's in the house today, so where's Sarah? I saw you a minute ago. She actually worked with them in Mexico for a while. She doesn't live here. She moved far, far away because her husband wanted to fly airplanes or something. Um, but she's here, so I know that you're glad to see Casey as well. Uh, I won't say any more because I'm going to let him say it. Come on up, Casey. Can we give a warm welcome to Mr. Casey Herring from Jim? Hey, good morning. Thank you, brother. Appreciate it. Hey, my name is Casey, and it is an honor to be here this morning. Um, I, I am with Global Education Ministries, and as I was driving here this morning, I have my son Elijah with me. He's, he's right over here. Um, support me, but we drove right past my office, and I said, hey, that's where I work every day, um, but it, it is an honor to be here to worship with you. This is my second time being here at the church, and this morning, what I want to do um, is just share a little bit about GEM and who we are and what we do around the world, and then uh, ask you to prayerfully consider ways in which you can get involved with us, specifically through the sponsoring of um, 10 children. I've got this little card here. I'll explain this in a minute. Um, but our ministry was started 10 years ago, and it was started in response to uh, God putting a calling upon my heart, a, a unique and special calling that has is, is not happened before in my life. Uh, it hasn't happened since, but in that moment, I knew that God was calling us to something very, very unique. And it was to pour out our life and to leverage everything in our life for the sake of other people knowing the gospel and knowing that they're saving hope in Jesus Christ. And I told my wife, um, and we'd been married for about a year at this point, that I felt God was calling us to Mexico to start a school for the purpose of using everything about that school as a way to share the gospel with our students and with their parents. And through a lot of prayer and a lot of work and a lot of support, we ended up in Mexico in 2013, and we started our first school. And everything about our school um, is designed to be saturated in the gospel and to bring the truth of Jesus to our students. And by God's grace, the school started in 2013 with 26 students, and it has grown to now being a preschool through 12th grade and over 200 students in the school. And it's also, most importantly, been very impactful and effective at bringing the gospel to people. Every year we see students and parents come to Saving Faith. Because of the response of the school, we've had the opportunity to plant a church in Puerto Escondido called Camino de la Cruz. Um, so God has been at work, he's been doing great things, and he's allowed us to start other schools in Mexico and, um, as Pastor Chris said, around the world. And we are humbled by this work. Um, I'm amazed that he allows me to be a part of it. Um, he certainly does it so that he gets all the glory because anybody who knows me knows that I'm not a guy that can do anything real special. So everybody who knows the ministry says, yeah, God is definitely in this. Um, but as I mentioned, our schools are gospel-saturated. And what we want in our schools is to draw people into our schools who don't know Jesus, um, who, who don't go, their families don't go to church, they don't have a background um, in, in church or those, that kind of thing. And so the main thing that we use as a hook to draw them in is affordable tuition. And so the, the most important thing that allows us to offer school to these families at an affordable rate is our sponsorship program. And so that's the reason why I'm here with you this morning. Um, I, I want to ask you if you would prayerfully consider sponsoring one of our students. It is one of the most important things that allows these non-Christian families to come in and hear the gospel every day. Um, our sponsorship program is much like other sponsorship programs that you probably are already a part of. Um, if you are sponsoring a, a child through compassion or some other thing, this is not a, a plea for you to drop that child. Please don't do that. <laughs> Maybe prayerfully considering adding another one. If you're not currently sponsoring a child, I would say that there is um, a lot of ways to be involved in a child in a person's life, but this is uh, amongst the best. It is a phenomenal way to be reminded of a person, uh, to be praying for them, and to be engaged in their life year after year as they get an education, but most importantly, hear the truths of the gospel. Um, so what you'll see uh, near the communion tables are, are cards like this. There's a few um, at each table. Um, one side is a picture of a child. The other side is a little bit of a pledge card. It's got a perforated edge where you can tear it off. Um, would you prayerfully consider sponsoring one of these children? 
becoming a monthly sponsor for $39 a month to make sure that they have the chance to go to school and hear the gospel every day. If God puts that upon your heart and you feel like it's right for you to be a part of missions in this way, praise God for that. Um, and fill out this part of the card and go ahead and either turn it into me or somebody else at the church, um, and we'll be in touch with you. But this is a way to to practically be engaged in global missions. Um, It isn't just money being sent off and you never know where it's going. It's going directly to making sure that this person uh, hears the gospel every day. Thank you guys so much for the chance to worship with you this morning. Thank you for prayerfully considering this. Thank you, Casey. Can you stick around and pray pray with you for just a minute? Um, guys, uh, we, we for many years have said one of our biggest values is we say hashtag kids matter. And we've done that through a lot of different things. And many of you are familiar with uh, Compassion International and the sponsorship programs we've done through them. Uh, this year, having a local organization, well, semi-local, Casey's here, um, and having such an opportunity for 10 specific kids. I, I want to let you know this. The, the 10 cards are on the communion table areas so right where the communion is later if if you feel led to kind of learn more about these kids take a look at those cards before you go um and i would love to see all 10 of them go today it'd be fantastic or casey was joking around earlier maybe someone's like i could take all 10 of them by myself um but i'll tell you this we're going to leave these cards up for a couple of weeks the few that don't uh walk away today uh we're going we're going to leave them up so that you can have an opportunity maybe to go home talk to your spouse or whoever you share a budget with and and see can we do this and continue to pray about ways that we can uh come alongside casey and what he's doing to, to impact the lives of children uh let me just have a prayer with casey for jim and if you'll bow your head and join me Lord, I thank you so much for Global Educational Ministries, and I thank you for, for Casey. I thank you for his wife. I thank you for his family, for, for the sacrifices they have made to, uh, to first just to move to Mexico and to figure that out, to learn language, to learn culture. Um, and then the, the instant that they open the doors to a school, there's just such a need there, and families are clamoring to get in. And um, I pray for these families. I pray for the little boys and the little girls whose faces are on these cards today. Right now, they have no clue that there's a group of Americans praying for them by name today as we did this morning with our volunteers. And um, I pray, Father, that each one of them finds uh, someone who can help just subsidize and and help with their education and so that the gospel can just come to them through uh, their education, through their schooling. Lord, we love you uh, and just inspire us and teach us ways that we can continue to love children in your name. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.